Cider fans. Mark and Justin here from the Cider Guys. We're, as we said in our uh, Instagram video, we're practicing our social distancing, but we still want to bring you some good content. So um, we have a new cider here that we want to uh, bring to you, taste and everything, and I'm going to turn it over to Mark and let him kind of explain what we got. All right, today we have an Is a Steggy Is Natural Cider, and this is a Basque style cider from Spain. And I think this is our first international cider we've ever reviewed for you guys. Uh, we first tried this cider back, I think, two years ago during the Durham Cider Crawl. And we recently were able to find this at the Northern Spy in Durham. We picked up a bottle and we thought we'd bring you our first international review. Um, one of the really cool features about this cider is it comes with this special cork. Um, you open it just like a normal wine cork, except you don't pull it out of the way, and it has spaces here on the side, and you have, it's called a pour cork. And you pour it with the cork half out. And they did that, they just pour from a, they do that to get a little air rate and then from a little flavor enhancing too. So uh, hopefully Justin should only have a pour from a little bit of height. I think I made a little mess, but that's okay. <laughs> it kind of, it kind of worked. It takes practice for sure. <laughs> and I have not done that. I'm, I'm gonna mop up as you're talking. All right. Well, um, I think I'm ready to dive in. Let's give it a review. You ready? Oh yeah, man. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. So um, on the nose, it's just it's very crisp. Just a very Yeasty crisp. Yeah, it's not. Um, it's not a very pungent uh, aroma that it has. Mm -hmm. No. But right up front, I mean, this is this is a dry cider, and, and from our experience with the international ciders, they really do dry ciders, and they do them well. Oh yeah, and you can tell it's very cloudy. It's natural, unfiltered. Um, I'm sure you can see it in my night glass a little bit better here. Um, very light straw colors. Um, it's steel. Um, about the only uh, about the only bubbles you're going to get in it is if you try to you know pour it from the height, then you'll get a little aeration in it. But otherwise, it's a, it's a pretty steel cider. So, all right. Let's... So there's nothing big going on here. I mean, this is straight apple, um, very apple forward, very apple flavor. Um, you get a, I get a little bit of a, like a barnyard flavor, just a little hint of that funky yeast, mm -hmm. that natural yeast, probably on the apple. Um, yeah, it's a really great flavor. Um, oh, yeah. I don't think I've had an internet cider yet that I haven't enjoyed. Right. Um, I read an article on it before we uh, before we got started here. Um, and they were talking about um, it had citrus, kind of a citrus aroma and everything. Um, and almost a, a, a vinegary taste to it. Um, I do kind of get that. It is, it is tart. Um, it is astringent. Um, it does kind of have that, that sour, it's not quite citrus, not quite like a vinegar sour, but it, I don't know, it's almost somewhere in between. So. I would get that. I would say, I would agree with that tartness level, yeah. Yeah, so, but it's good. And like you said, I mean, you know, Spain, France, those, those areas, um, you know, Isistegui, the Eric Bordelitz, that's, that's where cider come from. I mean, they've had you know, two and 300 years to perfect this, this process. Um, and it's, and it's uniquely different. Uh, it's nothing like you're going to get here in the States. Um, you yes. know, some, some people come really close to it, but you, you just, you're just not going to get, you know, this level of natural refinement. I don't think, except for, you know, from the birthplaces of, of cider making. And this one, it, I mean, some of those international ciders can get a little pricey, but mm -hmm. for the flavor you get from this, this is a, in a very affordable uh, cider, I think, for everyone. So, if you, I mean, it's comparable to U.S. ciders, really. Yeah, and um, I was looking on the um, on the bottle here, on the label, it's actually imported by a place in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. So, um, wow. yep, says it right down there. So, uh, so yeah, so it's brought here, especially locally to us, maybe not locally to you guys, but um, it is, you know, at least on the East Coast, so should be fairly easy to find. Um, 
you know, you may have to go like like um, Mark said. You know, we haven't been able to find it too many places, but we did find it at um, Northern Spy in Durham. So maybe going to more of those specialty bottle shops. Um, we haven't been to Sam's in a while in Durham, so I don't know if they would have it. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but if anybody knows, leave your leave that down in the comments if you know where we can find it or any people locally where you can find it. Um, just leave it down in the comments, let people know about it. So Yeah, where do we find where do we have tasted it Santa Carl? Bar Brunella? Yeah, Bar Brunella. Like mm hmm And so yeah. Yeah, so and that guy or wine shops might have it. Yeah. And that guy there at Bar Brunella, he was, I mean, he was very informed about what he had there. So, I mean, if you're ever in Durham and buy there, stop in. He's, I mean, he's got some international ciders for you to try. Um, very, very knowledgeable about their products. Um, and if you've got a place around where you're at that is like that, you know, go there and they can tell you about these things and show you some different things. Um, that's where we learn. Yep. And you can always come to us and we'll try to teach you the best we can. <laughs> best we can, yeah. yeah. That's right. So, all right. Anything else you want to add to this one? That wraps it up for me, I think. Yeah, I think me too. I think that's, we pretty well covered like this thing. Uh, quite a new experience for us, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is weird. <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. We're staying safe. And uh, we hope you guys are out there staying safe to um, practice your social distancing, wash your hands, you know, don't touch your face, all those good things. Um, but, uh, but just, you know, be smart, but still, you know, try to have as much fun as you can. We're trying the best we can. We're doing, we're working with what we got. Thank goodness we live in an age where we have Zoom and ready internet and all the bells and whistles where we can do things like this. So. Yeah, we just hope we get it. We're able to be out and, and see you guys soon. Absolutely. I yeah. Know we haven't been. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Yes, and Ben. Uh, yeah, we're hoping. Yeah, I'll be out and come later. <laughs> Say that one more time. That kind of broke up. I said we'll stay at home now and have fun later. That's right. Yeah. There you go. That's exactly right. And maybe the next time we get together, maybe we can do a really long pour with this one, and we'll see what we can. Later. We'll see what we can get on camera. <laughs> See how high we can get. There you go. There you go. So. All right. All right, guys. Y'all stay safe, and uh, we'll hope to see you soon. Absolutely. As always, from the Cider Guys. Cheers. Cheers.